we'll just head on over here to my rod storage locker slash man cave slash gear pile slash corner of the garage. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Traveling with tackle. The great mystery. What can I bring? What can't I bring? All the airlines are gonna be different. I'm gonna tell you my system that's been working for me for a long time. You could be this guy. Hi, I'm two piece rod guy. This says it's my first time flying with fishing tackle. Two piece rod guy. Don't be this guy. Seriously, where are you gonna put this on the plane? They're gonna make you gate check this and that's not gonna work out well. Who even owns a two piece rod anymore? Oh wait, I do. Who brings just one rod? The guy that's never broken one before. Always bring two rods. Or you can learn that the hard way. Could be this guy. Tape them together. We've all seen that guy. Yeah, it works. You can carry him on, but it's just ghetto. Well, I just bring my rods in the airport so people know I'm a huge fly fisherman. Oh, check out all those fly rods. He must be a huge fly fisherman. Oh, are you going fishing? Yeah. Fly fishing? Yeah. Oh, I'm a huge fly fisherman too. Well, where are you going? Seychelles, no big deal. All right, let's back it up for a minute. I need you to think about something. Do you even need to bring any gear? I've taken plenty of trips without bringing a single piece of fishing tackle. If you're going to a fancy lodge or fishing with the guide somewhere, you probably don't need to bring a thing. Use their gear. They've got rods and reels, they've got flies. You're not gonna use your flies anyway, come on. Trout Weenie wants to use his eight weight. He's from Colorado, he's like a guide or something. All right, so you're going DIY somewhere. Sometimes you do need to bring your own gear. There's only one right way to do it. You guys ready? I'm gonna tell you. I never check my gear, I always carry it on. I'll check my clothing and stuff like that. I can deal with no underwear. I can't deal with no rods. Reels and terminal tackle go in your carry-on, and then you have to worry about the rods. Ba -ba -da -da! The multi-rod tube. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made. Check out the links in the video description. I can fit these six and a half rods in here, no problem. I don't even know how many rods this one holds. I've never maxed it out. All right, let's load it up. I think I got like 17 rods here. Always protect the tip top with the cork. This one's actually a little bit longer than standard because I have a couple funny shaped rods. I think I just put four rods in there and there's easily room for two more. This might count as a carry-on, so you gotta watch out. This dude got a little business card holder. But Ben, I have two rods that are the same make. How am I gonna be able to tell them apart in the tube? Of course I have an answer for that. Electrical tape on the rod sections. Electrical tape. These are the same rod, but I can tell them apart. Added bonus. Everyone's gonna ask you why you have tape on your rod. I promise. Happens to me all the time. All right, speed tape, distance wrap, hatch matching tape, counterbalance. Okay. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Ah. Well, I hope you learned some useful information. I'm gonna sit here in the snow and think about the next saltwater trip I wanna take. Luckily, I know how to pack my gear.